Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jason here. And in today's video, we're going to go over 10 unique items that I sold over the past 30 days. These are items that I feel maybe you can get a little bit of information out of and help you while you're out there sourcing at your Goodwills or thrift stores. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you know when I come out with new videos. And uh, if you would, please share these videos. Um, I'm currently at about almost 250 subscribers, and my goal is to try to get to 1,000 by the end of the year. Um, it would be awesome if we could reach that plateau and uh, just be more people that we can help out uh, so they can be out there looking and help make them you know, extra money like uh, hopefully all of us watching this video are doing. So let's just jump right in. The first sale here was not actually anything that I thrifted from a Goodwill or a thrift store. I actually bought, this just has a good story behind it, so I thought I would share it. I bought this on eBay about seven months ago for, for $30. The reason I bought it was because I'm part of a Facebook group, and the Facebook group said that this has amazing audio for your surround sound. And I have a really nice surround sound, enjoy movies, so I bought the movie. And it does. The surround sound on it is amazing. But I, that same Facebook group, uh, about a week or two ago, somebody posted that this movie is selling for over $200 used on eBay. And I'm like, there's no way. Now, this is just a regular Blu-ray, but it is a super rare Diamond Lux edition. So I looked on eBay, and there really wasn't anything for sale on there uh, of this DVD. Mine was used, but it was basically in mint condition. So I said, you know what? I only paid $30 for it. Let's throw it up for $230 and see what happens. So I threw it up for $230. Right off the bat, I got a couple offers. Or I got one offer for $150. I said, no, nah, I'm going to give it a few more hours just to see what happens. And sure enough, a few hours later, uh, <laughs> phone does the cha-ching, and it sold for full price of $230. So what, what a great investment that I absolutely had no idea was going to eventually flip it seven months later. So the numbers on this, I paid $30 off eBay for it. It sold for $230. DVDs go media mail. That's the cheapest way to ship something. So it shipped for $3. eBay and PayPal got $25. So in the end, I made $172 profit on this uh, Blu-ray. Again, it's extremely rare when finding it out in the wild, the actual Diamond Lux diamond lux edition might be kind of hard to do but hey you never know if you run across it definitely pick it up all right so here we have a ti 84 plus graphing calculator and your ti 84 plus is written uh, on the top ti 84 plus silver edition i actually picked this one up in a recent haul video when i was back home visiting family in alabama i picked it up for five dollars at a thrift store um, the only problem with this one is it did have a name written on the back of it um, which I had a hard time getting that off. I tried some goo gone, a couple of other things. I could not get it to, to, to remove the full name, so I did disclose that, uh, that there was writing on it um, in the description. If you know how to get that name removed, uh, a quick, easy way, be sure to leave it in the comments. I, I would love to hear. I tried different methods and just couldn't get it to, to, to fully come off there. Um, but this calculator, the CI84 Plus graphing calculators, sell super quick if you price them. Uh, you know, accordingly or, or you know, competitively, you're going to sell them uh, quickly. So if you run across these, definitely, definitely grab them. So the numbers on this one, um, I paid $5 for this. We sold it for, actually took a best offer of $52.50. It shipped for $4 because it was under a pound, so it went first class. eBay and PayPal got about $6, so in the end, we made $37.50 on this calculator. A lot of these numbers I am um, rounding up, so if shipping was $5.70, I just round it to six. Um, so that way we can, for the most part, use whole numbers. Uh, here was one of my better buys of last year. Um, definitely, I would say it had to be a top top 20, top 25. The, this It looks just like a regular um, NBA jersey, right? I thought, this, I thought the same thing, too, when I walked into the Goodwill, and they kind of had it hanging up on the end of a rack, and I, I was looking down, I was like, well, the tag down here looks a little different from what, I'm norm, what I normally see. That 2006-2007 is the actual season that this jersey was issued in, so I'm like, wait a minute. Normal jerseys don't have, that I know of, don't have the season 
uh, especially on the tag. Never seen that before. So I started looking, doing some research. I'm like, you know what? I live in Georgia. This is the Atlanta Hawks. This could possibly be a team-issued jersey. On the back is blank, so whoever purchases it can, you know, if they want to put their own name on there, they can. They can put whatever they want to. So looked on eBay, couldn't find anything. I'm a part of a reselling Facebook group. Um, it's called, it's for uh, WBK, Walter Blake Knobloch. Uh, he's a YouTuber. Uh, he has his own Facebook group, and there's over, it's called, the, I think it's WBK Ultra Group. Uh, there's over 2,000 members there. Uh, and man, if you ever have any questions, you post it on there. A lot of times they'll help you out. So I did, I posted these pictures said, Hey, does anybody know where this, um, is this Jersey team issued or what do I have here? One person responded and gave me a website to check out. I sent pictures to the people from that website and what they do is they authenticate jerseys and they resell jerseys, you know, on their own and especially game uh, game worn and um, team issued. And they emailed me back within like an hour. It's like, hey, yeah, you got a nice jersey here. This was a team issued blank jersey. It was never used. It was meant for a player if they needed a jersey. But obviously, you know, at the end of the season, most sports teams have extras left over. Um, so he was like, yeah, you've got a really nice Jersey. They offered me like 80 bucks for it. Cause they were going to resell it on their plat- platform. I told them, thank you, but no, thank you. And, uh, went ahead and listed it on eBay and I got, I listed it 249 99. I did not sell it for that. I, I li- had it on there for about a month and I probably got five or six offers of a hundred dollars. That, that kept being the amount people wanted to give me. And of course the 249, I kind of pulled out of the air. I really didn't know what it was worth. So I figured people would offer and I could get an idea. So finally around Christmas time, somebody offers me $140 for it. And I go ahead and take it because I'm only in it for 12 So I sold this jersey for $140. I paid $12. Uh, it shipped in a first class, I'm sorry, it shipped in a priority mail envelope. I think it's around $6.35, but we'll just say, we'll just say 7 uh, eBay and PayPal got about 15 so in the end, we made $106 off this jersey. Wish they could all be like that. Uh, here's a pretty neat piece. Um, my mom actually got me <laughs> to start watching a YouTuber by the name of the Crazy Lamp Lady. I don't know if y'all watch her or not, but she deals a lot in... in, in glassware, something that I really don't know a lot about, so I was kind of interested in... I think I might have picked this up anyway because this is like a 3D effect line bowl. I mean, it is super cool. I mean, the pictures pictures really don't do it justice when you see it in person. So I probably would have tried to look this up anyway. The only marking though it had was made in Italy. So I just went on eBay and typed in uh, lion or tiger face uh, made in Italy bowl. And believe it or not, there's several on eBay and there's still several on eBay now. But it did bring up a listing, and this ends up being a taste setter, Sigma Vintage Tiger Face Bowl. Uh, it's really, like I said, it's really, really neat. I would have liked to keep it kept to myself, but hey, if it's worth money, we're going to sell it, send it down the road, take that money and reinvest it and go buy some other stuff to resell. Uh, so on this one, I did not get the full $69. I actually took a best offer of $50. I only paid $4 for the bowl. Uh, it did cost about ten dollars to ship. Lucky the look, I'm in Georgia. I think the person was in South Carolina. So, there when they're if you know anything about eBay these days, if they're in your region or only a few states away, man, you save a lot of money in shipping. Where you get hammered is when it's got to go fifteen states over. Um, so it was only um, shipping on this was ten dollars. Uh, eBay and PayPal got about five. So in the end, I made thirty one dollars on this bowl. Okay, here are some men's BKE Derek straight leg uh, dark wood, dark wash blue jeans. The BKE brand can definitely be worth money and definitely worth looking out for. It Usually if you look right there inside the pants waistband where it says BKE denim right beside it, it'll tell you the, the style. And this is Derek. Um, so it was easy for me to look these up and find some, some comparables, um, comparables. Uh, here I've started flat laying some of my clothes to take pictures. I think they do look really nice this way with the exception of my poster board overlapping. I just got the poster board from, I think CVS, uh, or Walgreens. Uh, so I wanted to try flat laying some things. 
because pants, you can't really put them on a mannequin I don't, or I don't have a mannequin that you can put these on. Uh, so here's, th this is all the different um, pictures that I tape them, take in my pants. Uh, one of the most important ones is the cuffs here because if the cuffs are frayed, then the customer knows they've probably been used a lot. Uh, these were almost in perfect mint condition, which I did state they were in perfect condition. And they sold pretty quick. So be on the lookout for BKE. Be sure to look up the style and make sure that it's one of the ones that sell. Uh, but this one, I uh, had it listed for $49.99. I did take a best offer of $40. I paid $7 for these jeans. They shipped for $7. eBay and PayPal got $4. So in the end, I made $22 profit. Okay, here is a, uh, a good pair of Allen Edmonds. He's got a pretty good story behind them. Uh, these are in very good shape. As you probably know, if you're a reseller, Allen Edmonds tends to bring in some pretty good money. Um, these were, I did, I do clean up all my shoes to make sure that they look the best for the pictures. That way I can maximize the potential profits in each one. But the best way to look up Allen Edmonds is looking in the soles. And in the soles, they will usually say Allen Edmonds and then the type of style they are. So I'm going to make something up here. Normally they would say Allen Edmonds uh, Charles or Allen Edmonds Bob. He, those are not the real names, but you get what I'm saying. But these were a little different. They just said Allen Edmonds made in the USA. When I first listed these, I kept getting messages, hey, What's the, what's the style of these? Are these the Charles? Are these the Bobs? And I, was, and I didn't know. Um, they also, uh, Alan Edmonds also has a size right here written on the side. Um, it's also got some other numbers. I tried looking those numbers up, couldn't find anything. So I just kept telling people, I apologize. I do not know what, what they are. So lo and behold, they were only up for a couple weeks and somebody bought them for full price, $80. Didn't ask any other any questions. They just bought them for eighty. So this was a, a great sale. Um, my Goodwill does not know who Allen Edmonds is yet, so they priced these pretty low. So I bought these for eight dollars, sold them for eighty. I think they went to Tennessee, so it only cost me like eight dollars to ship them. Priority mail, uh, eBay and PayPal got eight dollars. So in the end, I made fifty six dollars profit on these Allen Edmonds. Okay, so here's another good brand that uh, if you're not familiar with, it just always sells really well. Vineyard Vines. This is actually a slim fit shirt. Um, typically, your slim fits sell for a little more money than like your traditional does. So you definitely want to be on the lookout for that. This also had a gingham uh, pattern, plaid pattern. This, this pattern here is considered gingham. It also had the well logo on the pocket. These are just keywords you want to use in your listings. Uh, it also had an Oxford collar, um, which is not always the most desirable. Um, that's the two buttons on each side. That's an Oxford collar there. Um, so with with the uh, with this shirt, there's kind of a sad sort story to it. Um, but let me go ahead and fill you in on the numbers. So we I did sell it for a full thirty dollars. I got full price. I paid five bucks for it. It shipped first class mail for four dollars because it was under a pound. I just put it in a poly bag, a poly miller. Um, eBay and PayPal got three, but it got stolen out of the mailbox. <laughs> I typically never, ever put things in my mailbox. I always go down to the post office, but this day I'm like, hey, I only got one shirt. I'll throw it in the mailbox, put the flag up. This was right around Christmas time. I live in a very safe neighborhood, very safe city, but somebody came through and was stealing the mail out of people's mailboxes while I was at work that day and this got stolen. So uh, the mail lady knocked on my door, said, hey, your flag's up, but there's nothing in there. And I said, yes, there's a shirt. She said, I'm so sorry. A couple of your neighbor's mail got stolen. They saw the flags up, went and grabbed whatever outgoing mail was in people's mailbox and took off. So Unfortunately, on this one, we lost $12 because of the purchase of the item and the fee, which actually eBay gave me my fees back. I called eBay, told them what happened, that it got stolen out of my mailbox, and they actually gave me my final value fee back, so, so that really helped. So this one, unfortunately, we, we did not make any money, but uh, just be careful out there. Like I said, I live in a good city, nice neighborhood, but this was stolen out of my mailbox. It, granted, if it would have been a $100 item, I would have never put it out there. I would have taken it down myself to the post office which is what I'm doing from now on. Okay, this was a really good sale. I, 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 watching the, the crazy lamp lady, uh, I've kind of learned that uh, cats, anything kitty cats tend to sell um, pretty well. You do need to, of course, look it up, but they, they can be 
definitely sought after. And this is a Yankee Candle hanging wax tart burner. Um, it's got the cats. It's got three different um, kitty cats on it. And it's the one where you put a candle in the bottom and then it burns the little, the tart above it. And this, of course, fills your home with the, with the scent. Um, this one was, it was in really good condition. There was a couple little issues and I always point them out. There was a little nick right here. The bottom, you could see some burning from when they, you know, were burning the candle under it like it's supposed to. I couldn't get all that off, but I always um, uh, show any any flaws. But I think I took real, took really good pictures of this and this is what helped it helped it sell so quick. It sold within, I think, a week or two of me listing it, and it sold for full price of $75. So the numbers on this one, it sold for $75. I paid $5 for it. It did cost about 12 bucks to ship because it was kind of heavy, and I think it went several states over. Uh, eBay and PayPal got $8. So in the end, I made 50 bucks off of this swarmer. Um, here's an item that I had no idea really what it was at first. Um, it is a, uh, well, I knew what it was, but I couldn't find anything on eBay. This was actually made by Paramount Pictures, and it was um, Bing Crosby um, Musical Snow Globe. But I could not find hardly anything on um, on eBay about it. So if you look here at the bottom, it shows that it plays White Christmas, Bing Crosby, and then over here it says Copyright 2000 Paramount Pictures. I really could not find anything close to it. This was Christmas time. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to price it at 50 bucks and see what happens. It stayed on there about a week, and uh, I did I did sell it for full price of $50. Um, and I, pay, I only paid $3 for it. That's why I took a little bit of a gamble on it, so the gamble paid off on this one. So um, sold for 50 I paid 3 uh, It did cost $10 to ship it. eBay and PayPal got 5 so in the end, I made $32 profit uh, on the snow globe. So definitely keep an eye on the snow globe. There's some, definitely some valuable ones out there. Here we have an American Red Cross emergency AM FM radio by Eaton. Um, these emergency radios can go for good money as this one did. This one was brand new, still had some seals on it, never been used, um, and made by American Red Cross. It's a dependable brand. A lot of people are always going to be looking for these types of items. So the numbers on this is pretty simple. I sold it uh, for 65 paid 5 for it. It shipped priority mail for 7 and eBay and PayPal got seven, and in the end, I made $41 profit. All right, that's the last sale of this video. I hope you enjoyed these 10 items. Uh, again, if you're enjoying my videos, please don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, please share it with your friends. We're trying to get to a thousand, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, and I know with everybody's help, we can definitely, uh, definitely get there. So if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. If not, I'll see you next time, and good luck out there reselling.